Dr. Suvarna Fonseca, yes. formerly at formerly a professor at Kamal's and uh, principal at St. Michael's. St. Michael's Taligaon. way. Taligaon. Taligaon. Yes. Okay. Okay. And now? And now I took uh, leave without pay for okay. extraordinary leave and uh, did homeopathy for five and a half years. And then I came back into teaching and then became a principal. After I retired, now we opened up a clinic at Comba. It's called the Trinity Clinic Healing from Within. Okay. Plus I have uh, clinics at uh, Porvari and at uh, Porvari and Panjim. At Panjim it is at Raghuvanshis and at Porvari it is at Chodankars. And these places I practice homeopathy. And uh, other than that, yeah. you want to put on the fan? Yeah, if you don't mind. Put it on. Uh, can we? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So while the fans went off. Yeah. Sure. So you you call yourself a, a doc, I, doc, Dr. Prenya. Dr. Prenya. The reason is because I on my card you will be able to see at one side that says be the change. Yeah. And therefore many people are surprised to see that uh, I serve food. Yeah. Uh, tea as well as snacks and everything else. Yeah. Uh, but I feel uh, every woman and man, every person needs to be an entrepreneur. Should multitask and see you are endowed with so many talents. So earlier when I was uh, teaching, there was uh, no chance actually of uh, putting my hands into other talents that I had. But now that I practice as a doctor, I have a lot of time on my hand which I compartmentalize and uh, multitask and use my time to do things that I really love to do. On Facebook, I have Swarna's INDIAN cooking, which, the, which is actually having a, it's like interesting, natural, delicious etc. So each word stands for something. So I it's see. It's called uh, Swarna's Indian, Indian cooking. cooking. Yes. Each word stands for something. Something, yes. yeah. And then I do a lot of uh, different innovative kind of uh, dishes and uh, there are lots of people who like them, especially salads and I any see. kind of cooking. I see. So what is your speciality in terms of cooking? Now you should, now what is done here are the chicken burgers and mashed yeah. burgers which is like commonly done. Yeah. By people. Yeah. But, but your speciality? I do salads, okay. different types of salads because they are very healthy. I see. And then I do dosas which are different types, I see. innovative dosas like recently if you had seen on Facebook I have dosas done with the jawar and uh, chana. Jawar, jawar. Yes, as well as uh, ragi and chana. Uh, with different Traditional food grains. Yeah, with different uh, other contents that were put inside. Mostly because we are health conscious now and people don't want to have uh, rice and wheat etc. because of the diabetes and all other factors. So I feel this would be a good trend if people start eating. But, uh, but to shift gears dramatically to homeopathy, yes. uh, you know, some people have faith in it, some doubt it. Yes. In what uh, what what kind of illnesses is it more effective according to you? It's it's effective in all kinds of illnesses, but it's very effective because we find that there is a source for all these diseases. And that is an internal disturbance. And this internal disturbance is what we put right and then every other illness is balanced. The internal disturbance comes from psychological yes, factors? Mostly it is from the psychology, that is the mental level. Secondly is the environmental and third is the food and the lifestyles. So all these things can create an imbalance and cause diseases. And the first thing that happens, like, you know, it's our body is like a mirror yeah. and the skin is the part that shows. Okay. So you have many people coming up with a lot of uh, skin diseases. And uh, if you talk to them, we spend, at least I spent close to two to two and a half hours for the first time when they come. And usually when we finish that session, they feel so light because they've had somebody who has been uh, listening to them patiently to all the traumas, etc., that they have gone through life. And then after that, when the medicine is given, you will find that it heals. Sometimes we have very chronic diseases take time. Like what? Like, like Skin no, diseases. No, diseases. like what? Like what you are, where, where you are more confident in terms of getting a cure? Which are the illnesses? I'm saying, what PCODs would you for ladies. And there is skin diseases. PCOD? PCOD is uh, the polycystic ovarian disease. Okay, okay. Gynecological okay. levels. And uh, men who are having uh, azoospermia or aspermia, that means they cannot, they are also responsible for the fertility. Fertility. So sometimes they don't have sperms or okay. they don't, they're not okay. enough. Okay, okay. So in such conditions can be done. Yeah. Uh, digestive and problems. Digestive. Yeah, digestive problems like stones, like calculi in the kidney. I calculi see. Calculi in the... Uh, you can deal with those? Yes, definitely. 
at however an advanced stage or, or no, there earlier? are certain sizes okay. yeah there okay. are certain sizes but then uh, you find that there is drastic change with the usg we have comparison so with the see, usg ultrasound okay you see the ultrasound earlier before okay. the treatment and after the treatment I then see. we have tumors or uh, different types of tumors that are seen in the uterus that can that are reduced and cured so that can be done so all these things are uh, treated there are any varied kinds that can be treated provided they come and they open up and they tell us because it is a commune between the patient and the and the doctor it is a mind body healing yes kind of. correct you are right Trinity. so we say trinity no mind body 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 mind and soul it's like what you are within you all that has to be in harmony so when hmm. i say healing from within it's like a ripple effect from right from within yeah. the healing has to take place and it's been a fantastic experience for me though Uh, officially, kind of, I'm three years, but otherwise, fourteen years in homeopathy. I, I used to treat my students, the teachers, really? free of cost at the volunteer yeah. level in the colleges. I had a lot of patients. Really? In the When did you discover homeopathy, and how? Uh, discovered. Oh, it's a big long story. Actually, I actually uh, I had gone to do Ayurveda because I used to have a lot of uh, exhibitions of plant as uh, medicine. as part of your teaching botany, in yes. you are a botany teacher botany zoology i teach general biology everything i am okay. a biochemist okay yeah, and i am phil in environmental science so with yeah. this what i did was i used to have a lot of exhibitions yeah. as i remember i remember that's what so but Kamal's then college. I, then I yes then I thought let me go in for ayurveda okay. and I went to ayurvedic college plant based plant based yes. so i did i filled my form etc but then i found studying okay. uh full time sanskrit no not full time okay. sanskrit was like an additional subject so i came down thinking that okay i will not do it and then i met one while you were teaching this is yes, while you yes, were teaching yes. i took extraordinary leave for this okay so then i went and i as i was coming down i met my student's father yeah and he told me ask me he is from the horticulture department okay and he said what why have you come here i said i wanted to do medicine and then now i don't want to do because of sanskrit yeah. and he said uh, then go for homeopathy i said where is the homeopathy he said yeah, i'll take you he said and then same shiroda shiroda it's self yeah it's right on the mountain okay. Is, no? yeah. okay i read the okay. college is down okay whereas homeopathy college is on the hill yeah this is in shiroda and ponda taluka yeah yeah, yeah yeah so yeah. then what he did, what i did was you wanted to it it's okay it's okay So what yeah. I did was, uh, what he did was, he took, he put me in the jeep and took me up. I see. So when I when I reached on top and I met the principal, the principal said, "I accept you with open arms because of my qualifications, yeah. etc., and experience yeah. and the age." Yeah. Only thing he said, you go home and you ask your husband whether he will let you go for five and a half years because this is a continuous okay. course. Yeah. Full so time. Then, yeah. So then I went. Uh, of course, I knew my husband would not say no to me. I just went home, but the next next day I came and I joined, and I I, see. I was a ranker. I'm a gold medalist. I see. Yes, throughout. Yes. So I did really very very well. interesting. And I also would like to tell here that uh, when I was when I was studying, yeah, I was uh, partially working also. Yeah, I, you would find my notes stuck on all the walls. the toilet walls would have all the notes or the textbook passages then i would record in the night and when i drove my scooter and went to skhmc i would be listening listening on the recorder listening to my notes and my lessons that is the way i have managed my time and i have done very well and i am proud to say that i really did well and i think god has placed me in the right place because i always wanted to be a doctor you are obviously I, very passionate about yes, it yes i am yes <laughs> but name some illnesses where people should look at homeopathy for see they should look for homeopathy first of all we have people uh, skin diseases okay. is one of the main important aspect second one is if they have any digestive problems third is if they have especially women if they have reproductive gynec gynec issues yeah, gynec issues and uh, suppose now you have like if you have fractures even the fractures the healing is done process faster yeah, faster with homeopathy so and any kind of calcula calcula like kidney stones, stones yeah gall stones etc so all these can be treated very well with homeopathy dr suvarna last question your other claim to fame is that your the famous sister of the famous brother christopher fonseca <laughs> no, yes christopher fonseca <laughs> yes yeah. yes i am yes <laughs> i see, I see. people people he, recognize you as yes, that or they don't we, they say our smiles Sunny. are similar 
and the moment i they look at me and sometimes they ask me directly but i am his sister and they hear the surname i see i would also like to say that uh, i think god has endowed me with a lot of uh, a lot of awards i see i have received the national award for teacher as the best teacher and recently we had uh, ss blonde a group which had these entrepreneurs and uh, they awarded me with this emerging wow. woman entrepreneur wow wow wow, wow, yeah. wow. How many years in in teaching so far in Goa? Uh, in t- thirty seven years. Thirty seven. Thirty seven. From the age yeah, of? From the age of twenty one. Twenty one. Yes. Where? Tamils only. Tamils. One and only place that I taught. Okay. Yes. Wow. Quite a reputation. Yes, yes. I, I've heard I've heard your name so many times, but I think we've hardly interacted because yes. of geography. For some <laughs> reason, otherwise, Doctor Suvarna Fonseca is always in the news. <laughs> I'm so happy we are meeting today. Thank Fine. you. Thank, Thank you, Doctor. You. Thank you. Yes. I-